this is for this. your HP model 14 DQ 0052 DX. And I was under the impression this thing might have two RAM slots. Um, that's too much to ask for. It only has one RAM slot. This is the RAM that came out of this computer. I pulled out 32 from the factory. We're going to turn it over. Remove these bumpers carefully. Make sure the adhesive comes with the bumpers. Make note of where the black and silver screws are. It's easy to mix them up. So we're going to pop these out. I like it. Yeah. So how's your day going? Um, it's been a day. It's been a it's day. It's been interesting. That's them right there in that pattern. We want to just kind of pry this off. I like using my hands. Um, I'm sure you could stick a pry tool in here if you want one. I'm just going to carefully kind of go around here and figure hey. out what's loose. And we're just separating this from this. Close the laptop, face the bottom away from you, and pry with your thumbs in an outward direction. Just like I showed you here at this location on the laptop. So on the internet, the factory RAM speed says 2400 megahertz. I pulled out a 4 gig 3200 megahertz stick, so I wanted to make sure I put back another 32 megahertz stick. It only made sense to me. Pry the computer off, switch out the RAM, and this is a fairly simple process. So we've got our new crucial stick of RAM here, 16 gigabytes. My kids are loud. That's okay. This is the RAM here. Mm hmm. You, there's a little things right there. You slide that way and this way, and then that pops up. Very technical. This was the stick that we put in last time. You'll see here that it is 2400 megahertz, uh, because that's what the internet told me. But the stock stick was 32, so guess what? We're going back with a 30. And then, you know, they say you should test your RAM and do all that. Uh, that's cool if you guys want to do that. I have never tested my RAM. I built several computers. Uh, I'm not saying that it's not necessary, but um, we're not doing it here. So this is the same style of RAM here. It is a 16 gigabyte DDR4 32. There you go there. Yeah, so uh, why he's just increasing the RAM. So we're going to lightly put this back on. Going to dry fit it. We're going to try. It might try to snap on with just the weight. You can see their installed RAM says 16 gigs on it. Links are in the description below for the RAM. Close everything up, put the bumpers back on, and we'll see you guys in the next one.